Welcome, collectors. Thank you very much for joining me in this edition of Diecast Emporium. Hopefully, this will be a pretty quick video. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Greenlight Series 1 Route Runners. This is the 2017 Ram Promaster. Uh, obviously, this is a van in 164 scale. The Route Runner Series is a collection based solely on vans. If you look at the back, uh, you can see that there's a 2015 Ford Transit, 2017 Ram Promaster, 2018 Ram Promaster, Mopar Custom Shop, livery on that one, 2019 Ford Transit with the Ford Police livery on that. Down here, a little bit hard to see because of the crease of the packaging, but it reads 2019 Ford Transit in a UPS livery. I assume that one will probably be pretty popular, as will this one, the 2019 Ram Promaster in the USPS, which is the United States Postal Service livery. This is all of your information if you need it, such as greenlightcollectibles.com, all of your copyright information, and your uh, barcode down here if you need it. 164 scale, limited edition collectible. All of the Greenlight Collectibles guys are intended for the adult collector, uh, obviously with a minimum warning age of 8 and above. Uh, I do want to draw your attention to the subtle detail that's in the back of this packaging because it's those kind of things that I really like. Uh, I like the interstate highway system in the back, kind of the map, um, the, almost like the GPS map in the background, but also if you look in the white, which might be a little hard to see here on my camera, but you can see express delivery, uh, fragile, guaranteed up here. Uh, I really just like those little subtle details. So let's go ahead and open this up. Hopefully we'll do this pretty quickly. Uh, I like this. Hopefully you've seen some of my other green light videos, but if you haven't, during the unboxing, there's a specific way I like to do that, and that's take an X-Acto knife right here and create what effectively is a flap. So hopefully, despite despising this type of packaging, because honestly, once you cut into it and open it, you really destroy the long-term overall value because you can't say it's new and sealed, but that's okay. So let's try and create our little flap here. Hopefully it works well. Hopefully we can do this in a relatively short period of time. If you guys want to fast forward to uh, <clears throat> when I actually have this thing opened and we start the review, you can go ahead and do that now. But hopefully we've got our little flap created here. There we go. And then uh, that should be just enough. Whoops, we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to tear the back of the card. That's all right. That happens sometimes. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to get the van out. So I opted to go with this plain one, uh, namely because I'm going to put some custom stickers, decals on here eventually at some point um, so that this is like a equipment dealership service van for my 164 scale construction fleet there it is out of the box out of the packaging you can see that there's some untidiness and actually it's really really noticeable now i didn't really notice it in the packaging or obviously i would have left it there uh, you can see some glue and finger smudge marks all over the side window and the windshield yeah that looks that looks terrible um, i'm going to try a couple tricks to hopefully get that off it's even down here on the fender too holy cow i don't know how i didn't notice that before i bought it anyway um obviously that's not going to be on yours it's probably just a little bit of issue that happened at the factory when they were installing the windshield the back you have the dodge logo and then you also have the ram promaster logo up here a uh license plate your um door handle your lights up here which actually look pretty good I like this type of metallic flake paint on almost any model. I think it looks good. The, the wheels and hubs are pretty accurate for what I've seen on these vans in real life. And you have your sliding door here, which obviously doesn't slide. It's just for aesthetic looks. Your passenger door, Ram Pro Master here. Uh, your mirrors, your side view mirrors with turn indicators on the side of them. On the front, this portion is a plastic insert. You can see, once again, the ram or the dodge logo there your headlights it's t it's hard to see with the black interior but there is some effort to model the interior of the van with the steering wheel the dash um the obviously the, the driver's seat which you can't see with all those 
finger smudges in it. Uh, underneath 2019, made in China, green light. This is serial number 3697. Uh, 2017 Ram ProMaster 2500. Uh, green light 186. Not sure what that means. Nice spare tire into the casting. Obviously, you have your muffler. And that's really about it for this one. So let's go ahead and put it really quickly here on the spin table. We'll let it do a couple rotations. I also brought out, just for the sake of this video, a couple of the green light Dodges that I have in my collection. Uh, no, they're not route runners models that are in the collection, uh, but I do have them kind of with my other construction vehicles in 164 scale because they do make some good accessories. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit better. There we go on the van. By the way, uh, retail price for the van, I think I paid like $6.99 for it. Not terrible at all. If you don't have a Meyer near you, uh, which by the way is a fantastic store, um, you go there with the intention of, or at least I do, go there with the intention of picking up groceries, things you need for the house, which most of the time I do get. But of course, obviously, for if you're a collector, the first thing you do is go down the model aisle. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, back to a couple of the other Dodges and things that uh, I have here in the collection. This is a 2018 Ram 3500, kind of like a contractor truck, which I like. This is part of the Dually series. This one has a gray cab, um, diamond plating all the way back here, and obviously your, your contractor rack up here. Nice truck. Really wish they'd do more additions in this with maybe just some more recognizable colors. Perhaps a red cab, maybe a white cab, that kind of stuff that many contractors have. Maybe even black, I think would look great. I don't know if there's plans to do that in the future. I didn't bother to look it up, but green is not really a great color for this. Uh, I do love the fact that it does have a trailer hitch, so if you're pulling some of the green light trailers, it will work just fine. The other one I pulled out uh, is another recent release in the Dually series. I believe I did do a review on this. Uh, this is a, what is this? Also a 2018 Ram 3500. This one obviously is outfitted uh, as a tow truck, like a one ton tow truck. Nice details. You can hook a 164 scale car to it. Uh, not a ton of functionality, honestly, um, but you can obviously on the tow bar behind, you can put a 164 scale vehicle such as our van, the aforementioned, see how that works out? And then you can uh, post both of them in your diorama or your city. There you go. All right, guys, as always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this Route Runner series. I know as of now, I really only have uh, one to show you uh, here right now. I do believe that I reviewed in the last series, I do believe I reviewed a FDNY van in the Route Runner series. So make sure you check out that video, look it up on my channel. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you guys in the next review.